Another day on the astral field. The weather is fine today. It's not very cold. So we we'll have some time to set my equipment. Today I'm gonna capture with the flaming star nebula. I have two hours of this target and I'm gonna add today about four hours and see if I can get both of the details and the emission and the broadband lines so let's see As you can see here is my equipment with a snowy background. This is the way to calibrate the compass on the cell phone. I haven't got the go to mount, so I have to know where is the 90 degrees of angle to rotate it when my azier, when I do the polar alignment, is the first step you have to do to rotate the camera. So, I, I take the mark here and I know where is the 90 degrees. I said about one hour earlier, I want to let it one hour outside to take the temperature, the lens, the optics, the camera, everything to, to be okay. The cable box there and the button of mask is the first time ever I use this so we will see how it goes as the sun goes down the temperature getting lower and lower I can feel now the freezing because here all around there are snow So for a lot of people it's kind of weird to see me on the YouTube to make YouTube videos about astrophotography considering that before one year I was just a beginner so I feel I can communicate with you the behind of the scenes of the astrophotography that's my point to inspire people to inspire the beginners learning and reading for the astrophotography the sun is down I'm gonna wait a little bit just to see the polaris and I will focus my scopes both of them to the polaris or the near star whatever before it gets dark i want to set here my torches my red lights to don't looking around into the dark to find where my torch is that's why i set everything up all the cables all the power banks and the power tank to be ready just to open my power tank and start the session without looking for nothing else I hope to have a quiet night without any guys to check if everything is okay. Oh, the first star is visible right now and I think it's not a star, you don't mean it. I guess it's Venus, but let me check it. Yep, that's Venus. This one little star over there is Venus, it's not a star. And it's still daytime, it's not dark at all.
for the people they don't see my TikTok, uh, before some months a wolf, an angry wolf approached me and that was the scariest thing I lived in my life. I'm not joking about that. I was in the field over there, inside in the mountain. I have a field and all around there was trees. So I was inside into the forest and I just heard the footsteps and someone breathing so, so deep. And I said, oh, something's wrong here. But anyways, here it's a safer place. We have some farmers over there, so they have their dogs. So if any wolf or anything else coming closer, all the dogs around gonna park and he gonna leave. So we are okay in this location. So it's officially night right now. It's really freezing. I can't describe you the change between the daytime and the night. So now I'm doing my polar alignment. Small adjustments per time. We don't have to rush. The astronomical dark is gonna be in 20 minutes, so I have 20 minutes to focus on my polar alignment to have as the most accurate polar alignment I can because I have a star tracker and it really matters. It's only array guiding. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to find exactly the polar alignment, the polar accuracy because it's not dedicated for deep sky astrophotography, it's for landscape imaging. If I had the go to mount, that's gonna be okay, one minute of error, but for the star tracker, the less the better. I'm always do a refresh after tight all the screws. Maybe something goes off. We have 28 seconds of polar alignment error. We are very, very, very good. After the polar alignment, I center my target and I'm starting the captures. I set 180 seconds and I did it in every single image. So in a fast preview, we see something like that. And here is the stacked image, five hours of total integration time. You can't see any details or any nebulosity, but wait for the reveal. So here is my final image of the flaming star nebula on the white field. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can press the subscribe, you can drop a like and share in the comments your most favorite astrophotography targets.